Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man. On my way out of town, out of Knoxville, heading back to Big D. Back to Texas. You can see here I'm on the Alcoa Highway heading south. I'll be turning on to 411 here before too long, just in a few miles. Well, it's been a pretty exciting last few days. Wing Ding 40. 40 year anniversary for Wing Ding. And I can't think of a better place for them to celebrate their 40th anniversary than Knoxville, Tennessee. It was really pretty nice. Now, I've told you before, I'm not a big Wing Ding guy. I'm not a member of the GWRRA. But occasionally I do like to come to these things, mostly, mostly for business reasons. I think it's a good idea to meet people in person. Yesterday I had a chance to go through the trade show and meet some of the vendors that I work with. Had a chance to meet Rich Colano from Rivco. In fact, uh, Rivco has some pretty cool passenger armrests coming out in the near future for the 2018 Goldwing. And some other things they're working on. I was able to get over to see John Conley at uh, Bike Solutions. He was really busy rebuilding seats. He must have had 10 gold wings lined up waiting to have their seats rebuilt. Nice to see that he's busy. And I spent some time and met Don Frank with F4 Customs. And uh, hopefully I'll be uh, doing some review of the F4 Customs windscreens here in the near future. And just had a chance to walk around see some of the different vendors some I didn't have a chance to meet every time I, I I tried to get some video of the trade show but every time I'd start to shoot some video somebody would come up and want to shake my hand or want to meet me or introduce themselves so I really didn't get a chance to get any good video of the trade show I did get a chance to meet a lot of uh, the guys that I've seen on YouTube have posted comments. Philly D and Memphis Mike and Dan Smith. You know, we had a chance to catch up. Like I said yesterday, I didn't have a chance to hook up with Chris Caliente. But uh, I'll catch him next time. And remember, if you like these motor vlogs and you want to see more of them, click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell, YouTube will notify you when a new video is posted. I can tell you, a lot of people have commented, come up to me and ask me, or ask me on YouTube or Facebook, what kind of gas mileage am I getting pulling the trailer? And I can you know, all I can do is take an educated guess, because I have been kind of watching it as I've taken this trip. I'm going to say it's a 10 to 15% reduction in mileage just having the trailer hooked up. Now, you know, the best mileage I've had that I've seen on the screen, I'm just going by the little built-in computer, the best gas mileage that I've been able to see with the trailer was about 45, 44, I'd say, 44. And that was when I was in the higher elevation because you do get a big bump in gas mileage when you get that elevation over about 12, 13, 1400 feet. But there were some places, the first part of the trip coming out of uh, Texas, where I was getting about 36 miles to the gallon pulling the trailer. Now, when I got to Knoxville and I took the trailer off, I saw an immediate jump up to 50 miles per gallon. And at one point, after I rode the tail of the Dragon, which is fairly aggressive riding, it's low speed though, it's not high speed. At one point, I actually saw the little trip computer on the screen 
jumped to 59.9 miles per gallon. I kept thinking, maybe I'll hit 60, maybe I'll hit 60, but I didn't. 59.9, then it started dropping back, and I think I ended up averaging about 50. So, trailer makes a big difference. High altitude makes a big difference. Even on my previous gold wings, when you get up into the mountains, you get much better gas mileage. So those of you that live in higher elevations, you're fortunate that you're uh, saving money on gas. I'm now on Highway 68, heading to Alabama. And it is an absolutely beautiful morning to ride a motorcycle. 70 degrees, no wind, beautiful skies, a little bit of clouds, just perfect, absolutely perfect weather. You couldn't ask for a better day. I've been very blessed this entire trip with good weather. So, fingers crossed, knock on wood if I could find some. Uh, let's hope it stays this way for the rest of the trip. Two days home to Dallas. Are you ready for your cruise man question of the day? Do you think cruise man should have a second or a third camera angle for my moto vlogs? It just adds a lot of complexity, but uh, you know, I just wonder if you think it's that valuable. Uh, do you watch these for the commentary or do you watch it for the view? Or, you know, anyway, I want to hear your thoughts on that. I sold out of DVDs at the, uh, actually in the parking garage as I was leaving uh, the trade show yesterday. The guy that was parked behind me had no idea who I was, as did not most of the people at Wingding, really. Another uh, YouTube friend walked up and started talking to me and he wanted a set of DVDs. So that caused the guy parked behind me to ask the question, what do your DVDs cover? So I told him about the, and he had a 2003 Goldwing. <clears throat> so I told him basically the basic maintenance and 27 different videos covering air filters, brake pads, brake fluid, oil change, you know, just your basic maintenance stuff. He asked me, he said, how much are they? So I told him, and he said, well, heck, I'll get a set. So I sold him a set. The other guy came back, brought money back, wanted a set. So I sold out of DVDs right there just in the parking lot as I was getting ready to leave. Those DVDs are available through my website. If you have a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing, now, they don't cover anything on the 2018s. I have to have a whole new set of videos for that. But if you, if you have the previous model, F6B, Goldwing, all that stuff's covered. You can get them on my website, cruisemansgarage.com. Well, we're going over a bridge on Highway 68. Over here to the left, you can see there's a nuclear plant. And there's a dam somewhere around here. I guess maybe I'm going over it, not sure. So let's just hope we don't have a meltdown before I get uh, far enough away. I don't need any more brain damage. Pretty nice little curvy road here. It's Highway 30. Got some nice little sweepers. Now one thing I'm really anxious to find out is how different this bike will handle with Bridgestone tires. Um, it came with Dunlops, as I've mentioned before, and I've never been a big Dunlop fan. Um, always ridden on Bridgestones and 
talked to the Bridgestone rep at the trade show yesterday and got to see the uh, tires that they make for the 2018 Goldwing. They look pretty nice. So when it comes time to get new tires, which will probably be in about 5,000 miles, I will switch over to Bridgestone. You know, it's funny. They, uh, a lot of these guys say they're getting 13 to 15,000 miles out of a set of tires. I've never gotten more than 10 or 11,000 miles. I mean, there's still tread left on them when I get new tires, but they start riding really rough around 10,000 miles. It just seems like, uh, I don't know. I like to change them at about 10 to 11, 12,000 miles at the most. And, uh, boy, you can really tell a difference when you put a new set of tires on how much smoother the bike rides. I am now about 15 uh, minutes from my final destination in Gadsden, Alabama, where I'll be spending the night. It's been a beautiful ride today. Never got over 80 degrees. It's been cloudy, so I didn't, didn't have the sun on me. So just a perfect day for riding in Alabama and Tennessee. Now, on my next moto vlog, I'm gonna talk about a subject that a lot of you have asked me about. A lot of you stopped me at Wingding and asked me about. And that is, we're gonna talk about, or I'm gonna talk about, the dark side. And there's been a lot of discussion about it lately, so I'll give you my two cents worth on the next motor vlog that's all for now until next time on cruise man's motor vlog